So today I'm going fabric shopping. Usually I buy my fabric from Taobao but um, it's usually a hit and miss. It's like hard to tell whether what kind of fabric it is, whether it's soft, whether it's stiff. Like there's description but because you can't feel it. So it's a bit hard to tell whether it's the texture that you like until the fabric reaches. So uh, I don't think I'll be buying from Taobao in the near future. That's why today I'll be going to Chinatown. There's like a whole row of fabric shop in Chinatown. But I usually go to this one shop. It's called Li An Textiles because uh, their fabric is all super cute and it's quite cheap like compared to all the other shops there. Today my budget is $50 so let's not spend more than that. So yeah, let's go. I'll bring you along to Chinatown. Dinosaur one, three yards. Okay. I spent a total of forty nine dollars and fifty cents, totally right under my budget. The only thing is that I also went to this other shop called Lai Nai Xiong. This shop doesn't really sell fabric. I'm pretty sure it has some but the main things they sell are like hardwares and notions that you might need for your sewing project. For example, zippers, buckles. Um, they also have like stabilizer and interfacing there as well. Usually I get my embroidery stabilizer from them. And today I went there to get some mask elastics because I was planning to make some masks. So let me show you what I got. So excited. I got this plain blue cotton fabric, one yard of it. I was planning to make this like half and half um, shirt or something. So I'm planning to pair that blue color with this super cute dinosaur print fabrics. How cute is that? I bought three and a half yards of this. Usually um, to make clothes you probably need like two yards but I'm, I'm quite scared of like making mistakes so I'll usually buy an extra yard. The next thing I bought is this super duper cute corgi print. The print is a bit like Japanese um, oriental inspired so I'm planning to make like something for Chinese New Year even though I'm not sure if we are going to celebrate Chinese New Year. Mm, we shall see. And the last print I got is like another corgi print. It's like so cute, super cute, right? Unfortunately, this only has two yards left, so I just bought the two yards. I bought the last of this. It is sold out because of me. Two yards only, so I'm actually quite afraid of making mistake with that. I have to be super duper careful then. So this morning we had a wedding ceremony to attend in church, and it was a very simple ceremony, so no lunch was provided. That's why afterwards, um, my family, we went to IKEA to have our lunch. Actually, the main reason why we went to IKEA is because I wanted to buy some stuff from there. If you've watched my previous vlogs, you have known that I sleep in a loft bed. So my loft bed has this like ladder that for me to climb up and the ladder is quite slanted. So I feel like the space underneath the ladder is like not fully utilized. So I went out to measure that space and found out that IKEA actually... Is it IKEA or IKEA? I don't know, I'll just pronounce IKEA. IKEA sells this um, trolley that fits exactly in that space. Well, according to my measurements, it fits. Hopefully it fits after I fix it up. So anyway, now it's time to build my trolley and hope that it fits in that small little tiny space. Please fit, please fit. the moment of truth whether or not the trolley fits yay it fits so the plan for this trolley is to put my makeup and my skincare stuff so that um, I can do my makeup and my skincare on this desktop as well right now all my makeup and skincare stuff is like scattered all around the desk is very cluttered so I'm gonna shift all these things here to this trolley. 
embroidery hoops oh that is so disgusting it is moldy pretty sure this is mold i think ew oh my god there's even like ends on it what the these hoops are the hoops that i got from easy buy only the easy buy hoops started to grow moldy which is really weird because like i keep i kept all these hoops together with like other hoops that i bought and the other hoops from another seller did not grow mold, so I'm pretty sure the hoops came in dirty. Ew! So anyway, I googled how to get rid of mold on wood, and apparently you can get rid of it using vodka. So I have on hand this bottle of vodka, which I have for quite some time, and no one in my house is going to drink it, so... Yeah, going to use it to clean my hoops. Hopefully it works. I have no place to hang them to dry and so I decided to just hang them here on my door knob. Hopefully the vodka kills all the moss, please. I don't want them to be growing back. Okay, so just relocated them over here to get some sunlight. Hopefully the sunlight will do something. So I'm going to be making some masks. After trying on different kinds of masks, I realized that I actually like the pleated one the best because it's the most comfortable and also because it's the easiest to make. So I took a pleated mask that I own and measured it so that I can draw out my own pattern, my mask pattern. I decided to risk it and use the fabric that I only have two yards of because it's super cute. Anyway, you need less than two yards to make clothes. So I will just be super careful when I make clothes out of this. <laughs> I shouldn't have done pleats because the cute prints are all in a fold. Ah, yeah, so wasted. The planner I bought for 2021 is here. Yay! And uh, usually, the first thing I like to do is to crack the spine of the book so that it's easier to open up when I write in it. The planner I got has like a two-page spread for a yearly overview and then two-page spread for each month and then a weekly schedule on one side and a grid print on the other side. I used to use dailies but I feel like my days are not that interesting enough to, f to actually fill up an entire page so I'll be trying out a weekly planner for 2021. Oh and um... <laughs> I did not read what they printed on the cover page and it just doesn't make sense. I don't understand what this is. It says, make your own plan in parallel worlds. Someone will do the same plan as you. Uh, 
So I'm just going to cover it up with washi tape and stickers. So the first thing I'm going to do in this planner is to write down my um, reflections or thoughts on how 2020 has been and also what I can do better in 2021. 